guys it's late night I've been working on the farm all day sorry the lighting's a little low but uh, AJ and I were talking and so I wanted to write this down and she thought this would make a good video so here we go well, that's right. um, humans are under the impression that they're the highest consciousness on the planet and I think I've touched on this before but let's go a little bit deeper okay um, the gods that you are in human form the reason why you most long-term humans came to do this was to be as far away from being a god as possible okay humans are as far away from gods as hum as possible as humanly possible okay get this so every other thing on this planet that you look around and see animate and inanimate our consciousness they're all made up of molecules molecules is energy energy is consciousness period now it's different forms of consciousness consciousness is that you don't understand but all of the entities that came to be the consciousnesses that are around you are supporting your game to be a god in not knowing who you are all of the rest of this planet, including the planet and the solar system, all knows more that it's a god than you do. All of it. Every single bit of it. The ones that are closest to you in not knowing who they are, are your pets. The human pets. Anything outside of that, their consciousness is much higher than you. Humans have the lowest consciousness on this planet, bar none. They have the biggest amnesia and the lowest consciousness. They are not the highest consciousness on this planet. It, that is the opposite. Humans are the ones that, and I'm not talking about star seeds that are in memory, that that are that have memory, that are in partial amnesia. I mean the entities that are in full blown amnesia. Okay, usually long term humans wanted to come and play the game and forget totally the gods that they are. Everything around you is all consciousness and they're all supporting you to play that game. The paper in the book, the tree, the gnat, the wind, all of it has higher consciousness than you do. Okay? Especially, well, even you in partial amnesia, they've got more consciousness than you do. They're more aware. They all stay in the now better than you do. A lot of them can operate outside of time space because they can change. Y humans are the ones that are at the low end of the totem pole here. Now I know that they think they're all that. I know that they think because they've got a bigger brain than some things that they've got higher consciousness. Now, I'm not sure how that plays out with things that have j much bigger brains than humans and how they rationalize that but it's just not true guys it's just not true and it's funny to me seeing what I can see that they think that they are higher consciousness than everything else on the planet that just is how far away they are I mean plants and animals interact beautifully they don't destroy anything they take what they need and give back what they can. They go through life and death cycles just completely normally. And yes, there is the apparition. Please do not type below the one case out of a trillion that you've heard of the cat that does this or that. Or the this that does that. For the most part, except for those few aberrations, all of that works beautifully in now, in balance, except for humans. That's because they're lowest consciousness and their lowest consciousness because that is the game they came to play to be as far away from remembering who they really are as possible okay you got that all right funsville okay i uh, love you guys so much i'll talk to you later huge hugs bye now